New at noon, at least four people were arrested at a protest in Winston-Salem. Dozens of people showed up at the Forsyth County Detention Center calling for the release of security video that shows the death of a man in custody there back in December. Now, five detention officers and one former nurse are now charged in that man's death. As Daniel Pierce reports, the charges come after new details have emerged in the investigation that's been going on for seven months now. There is an unfortunate death, and there's no undoing that. The family understands that. The family is trying to make some sense of it all. An agonizing wait for justice for John Neville. On December 2nd, the 57-year-old was arrested for an assault. After being brought into the Forsyth County Detention Center, he had an unknown medical problem while inside his cell. Which caused him to fall from the top bunk of his cell and onto the concrete floor. When detention officers and an on-call nurse found him, he was confused and disoriented. They moved him to an observation cell where he sat for 45 minutes. Forsyth County District Attorney Jim O'Neill says Neville was restrained at one point. Mr. Neville repeatedly said, I can't breathe. As detention officers tried unsuccessfully to remove his handcuffs. He later died. A medical examiner found he died due to positional and compressional asphyxiation due to prolonged restraint. What I want to say is that it's a sad day here. It was a sad day then. I want to say that good men and women made bad decisions that day. And as a result, a good man died. A state investigation over seven months led to involuntary manslaughter charges being filed against six people. Former detention officers Sarah Poole, Antonio Woodley, Lavette Williams, Edward Russell, and Christopher Stamper. The nurse Michelle Higgins also charged. The state and DA's office has reviewed security video of the incident, but have asked it to not be released to the public, at least until the case goes to court. The family has seen it, and they're quite devastated by it, as, as are all who has who have seen it. I can tell you that the family, though grieving, is satisfied that the process is working. All five former detention officers facing charges are released on bond. The district attorney says he supports those protests that are happening as long as they stay peaceful.